What if your mom was a cocaine godmother or your father was a real life Scarface? Well, that is the basis of VH1's new docuseries called Cartel Crew. It explores the lives of descendants of cartel life and two people who will be sharing their stories in front of millions of people are joining me now. And uh, I want to welcome to the show Michael Blanco as well as Stephanie Acevedo. Um, first of all, this is a terrifying situation um, regardless, but to put this in front of so many people on television television why did you agree to do this I think that it was time to show the public you know our stories our life as individuals and as as members of, of cartel families youngest members second generation members of these families and just expose our truth you know how we live regular lives how, how we're trying to make it in the corporate world and you talk about living a regular life. I watched some of the show and every waking moment you're fearful of what will happen to you. Some of the uh, images I saw were, you know, you get in your car, you lock your doors, you're memorizing the cars behind you because somebody could be following you. Is that right? I mean, that's how we were trained. Yeah, I mean, my dad being a part of this life and, you know, uh, working for, you know, the most dangerous cartels, you know, in Colombia, Mexico, you know, being their transporter, their drug smuggler, you you kind of instilled this fear. You know, my dad was always letting me know, you know, be aware of your surroundings. And at first I don't realize why he was being so precautious or why he always was, you know, making me be aware. and. I realized later on that that it was because of his lifestyle that he sees you know you see things and you're more aware of your loved ones and and you know you take that extra uh, of, step. Cor of course nowadays we, we don't have to worry about that lifestyle that being said we were trained to always be on our P's and Q's always have have awareness of your surroundings just to know that you might be in clear and present danger. So even though we don't live that lead and we don't live that lifestyle we used to lead, we have to understand that, that you know, we do have last names and we do have to understand that that life was a dangerous life. And you're pretty brave to do so. How has the response been from people who've watched the show? I think it's been amazing, honestly. I Very overwhelming, but people are very uh, I guess they're they're kind of accepting it you know there has been some people that are like you know is the show fake you know is it really like the truth and I know it's a little hard to believe but you know we did go through this you know we're sharing our stories we're being honest with you we're opening up our hearts you know life wasn't easy for us and you know we we're visiting very dark places we want people to understand that, you know, this is not easy for us, but we we signed up to do this. So I think people have been pretty much accepting the yeah, fact. Yeah, and as the as people tune in every Monday night, you know, check your local listings. Um, people are going to understand that the message you thought we were trying to convene at the beginning is now metamorphosizing into something else. So if you tune in and you understand what we're really trying to do, then the people that might have been against us might be for us. And the people that were for us might be more for us. Wow, it's awesome. Well, congratulations on the docuseries, Michael and Stephanie, for joining us this morning. Thank you, Thank for you so us. much. And again, we just want to be motivational. We want people to know that you can come from struggle um, and still see light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, there's life after narcos, and Definitely. there's a lot of docuseries about narco life, but there isn't about the kids. And this is our story to you guys. Well, on thank, VH1. Thank you. Every Monday night at 9 p.m. We'll be watching. Check your local listening. Check your local listening. <laughs> You're watching The Morning Blend. We'll be right back.